What is up my hollers? Wolfpicolator here, and today we are going to be speculating on what could have been in one of the greatest horror shows of all time, Ash vs. Evil Dead. For those of you who haven't seen the show and plan on watching it, this is your only warning to leave the video right now and avoid spoilers. Now that the that warning is out of the way, let's get on with the video. At the end of Season 3, the Dark Ones took the Necronomicon from Earth, summoned Kandar, which is why Ash had to leave his ghost beaters along with his daughter, defeated Kandar and reawoken the future with a new partner who is augmented named Lex. He also got a couple of upgrades which include a awesome fully weaponized armor Delta and a new cybernetic hand. The episode ends with Ash suiting up and preparing for battle as soon as he enters and as soon as he enters the Delta ready to enter the new post-apocalyptic world. The show just ends right there and it sadly just leaves all of us on a, on a cliffhanger. Now that we did a Quick recap of the final episodes, let's continue with the theory on what Season 4 might have contained. As soon as Ash and Lex go out into the post-apocalyptic world, I believe they begin their search for Brandy, Pablo, and Kelly, according to an article by Scream Rant. Most likely, we won't see them unite until the last two or three episodes, and the first seven episodes will probably just focus on our new team, which of course is just Ash and Lex, so that when we see them reunite with Brandy, Pablo, and Kelly, it will be a big payoff and worth a journey for both the characters and in the show and the viewers who have been watching and anticipating their reunion. I do think it would have had great build up because like the previous seasons, it had nothing but fantastic story development. In the episodes that follow Lex and Ash, I'm pretty sure it would have been really similar to Madame Max, which is also stated by Screen Rant. And we would have seen them fight new types of deadites while also teaming up with other surviving members from the Knights of Samaria. But I don't think they would have lasted long because in the past seasons they usually die pretty fast. I think Lex is the only one that's going to stick through it all. Also, I'm pretty sure we would have seen other wasteland Wastelanders who are also trying to survive. Like kind of sim similar to how we saw that one base in Season 1, Episode 7. Because, you know, no way would they show something in a show... And like they, they would tease it and then not bring it up later. Like they don't they don't do that. Sam Raimi don't roll like that. Not only would the show focus on meeting up with new characters, fighting new deadites, and defending themselves from other wastelanders, but I'm positive we would have seen new see them search for a new Necro Necronomicon or even the same one that was taken from them by the Dark Ones. I'm pretty sure the Necro Necronomicon would make a mysterious return, like it has throughout the films. For example, in the first movie, it was burned to ashes by Ash. No pun intended. Only to be unexpectedly, only to unexpectedly return for Evil Dead 2. Then it was lost again at the end of Evil Dead 2, only to be found by Ash again in Army of Darkness when Ash and the Wise Men needed it so that they can help him return back to his time. So if the same book or possibly different books could be lost, destroyed, and reappear multiple times in the films, then it could definitely do the same in the show. I believe the book will be needed again to possibly possibly find a solution to restore the world back to normal because honestly, I think the Necronomicon is always going to be an important aspect to the show and movies. But obviously, it won't be easy to get and Ash and Lex are definitely going to have some trouble. But I think once they manage to acquire it, they will continue their quest to find the Ghost Beaters. But here's a formula that each season follows and that is the main big villain. They always have one. I'm not sure who or what it would have been in season 4, but obviously it would have been something much stronger than the past villains in the series because they just like raising the stakes higher and higher. My pitch would have made it a Jason Voorhees type villain where Ash at first kills a new type of Deadite with ease, thinking that he was a one and done Deadite only for it to grow stronger with each death. I think that would have been pretty terrifying and would raise stakes really high. What I would do is by the 6th episode have Ash and Lex find the ne Necronomicon and then kill the new Deadite that was guarding it. Then, in episode 7, have them find the secret government facility that is protecting most of the survivors, which also include the Ghost Beaters. Then, as the episode progresses, make it a challenge to have them enter the facility because the army is pr protecting it. And then, towards the end of the episode, have Brandy, Pablo, and Kelly finally make contact with Ash and Lex and have the episode end there so that in episode 8, we see them interact and reunite. In episode 8, the first half of the episode will be a catch up with the characters and how they have been surviving through the apocalypse as well as Ash introducing Lex to the team. In the remaining episode, Pablo tells Ash he's had visions from a brujo about a possible future to end the post-apocalypse and bring everything back to normal. But the only problem is that Pablo needs the book. Luckily, Ash already has the book and 
brings hope to Pablo, making this future more possible than ever. And as the episode ends, we see all the deadites along with the new super deadite going towards the government facility, ready to ready to raise hell against the humans and get the book back from Ash, so that the deadite apocalypse can continue. At the beginning of episode 9, I would have the person in command announce to the facility that they are under attack against deadites, and should prepare for battle. Obviously, not everyone is going to participate due to fear, but I do think Ash will be able to help them get the fear out and feel determined to fight against evil, similar to what he did in Army of Darkness. In the middle of the episode, I would have all of our all of our awesome main characters squad up, which will be pretty epic to see because we haven't seen that we haven't seen them fight together in a really long time, as well as all the other fighters actually go out into battle and start killing off deadites. In my opinion, this makes sense because this is essentially the new Deadite War, which is something that has happened before and has been lightly mentioned throughout the series. But towards the end of the episode, Ash will, would notice a familiar Deadite and kill him off again, only to come back stronger. Ash tries to kill him again, and this is when Ash re realizes that this Deadite isn't normal and grows stronger with each death. In the 10th and final episode of Season 4, Ash warns all his ghost beaters that he's having trouble with some new deadite and explains its ability. Pablo and Ash look through the book to look for answers and find that this deadite identifies as some, as some random Sumerian name, I don't know, you can choose whatever, and that there is no stopping it once it has been released by the Dark Ones. Pablo continues to look through the book and instead of finding a way to defeat the super deadite, he instead finds a way to banish it to the mirror world, which is something we have seen in the series, which is, which is essentially a prison for all the demons, deadites, and the Dark Ones. I would have most of episode 10 focusing on an awesome fighting scene with the ghost beaters struggling to push the super deadite into the mirror world, and eventually the one who succeeds in doing so is Lex, which I think will be a good way at making the rest of the characters become very fond of her and showing how badass she is. Towards the end of the episode, Pablo explains to Ash that they must that they have just found a solution to bring him back a peaceful normal world. But it's not going to be easy, and it might be the last thing they do. They must confront the Dark Ones and the rest of the unstoppable Deadites, Demons, and imprison them all back into the Mirror World. I would end the final episode of Season 4 right there, because I think it would be perfect, because it, it just easily sets up the next season. I really wish we would have seen a new season for Ash vs Evil Dead, but sadly, I don't think we will. I really feel bad for Sam Raimi because 3 seems to be his unlucky number. Spider-Man 3 was the film that ended his franchise, even though he wasn't done with the Spider-Man franchise. And Ash vs Evil Dead, Season 3 was the one that ended his TV series even though he wasn't done with the story of Ash. It's such a bummer, but the silver, the silver lining is that it leaves Ash Williams' conclusion up to the imagination of fans and lets us get creative on how we would end his story. I hope you enjoyed my theory on how I think season 4 might have been like. This topic was a lot of fun, so um, yeah, if you guys have any more topics, uh, just you know, also comment down below, but down below leave your theories on how you think season 4 should have been like, because I'm always, you know, really curious to hear your responses, but yeah, I hope, again, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.